What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Superman from Fortnite Season 7. Let's get started in the center of our page with the top edge of the brow. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to draw a curve that goes up. And we'll bend that out towards the left. Let's line this up on the right. Going up. And then out. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left. Curve in. And bend that up. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left side, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. Come down toward the bottom of the eye. Just pull that up on the inside. Let's add a highlight on the top left side of each eye. Starting from the side, come around, pull that up towards the top. And I'm just going to line this up on the right side. So this will get tucked in underneath a little bit higher. And then in the center of the eye, we'll draw a smaller circle for the pupil. And we'll pull that in underneath the brow. Let's fill the pupils in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. We're going to start over on the left the nose coming down and then up. Now we're going to step up and draw a short curve going up and then down from the bridge of the nose. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. We're going to start back over on the left, curve the mouth going up and then down. And we'll add a bracket on the outside corners of the mouth. Go back to the center, step down, draw a short line going across for the lower lip. Let's go back up and draw on the eyebrows. Start from the outside of the brow, and go up and in. And we'll follow the same curve of the eyelid, coming in and then down towards the inside of the brow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now that we've drawn on the face, let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the eye, we're going to step out. I'm just going to curve this down, round up the chin underneath the mouth, and pull that out and back up on the right. We're also going to sink in the cheekbones. We're going to start over on the left, curve this in and then down, line this up on the right, do the same thing. Now we're going to work our way up towards the top of the hairline. Starting back on the left, go straight up, bend that in around the eyebrow. And it'll go straight up towards the top. Let's line up at the top of the hairline, go to the center, step down and draw a point. From here we're just going to curve this up and then out towards the right. Let's go back to the center and add that curl coming down the left side. Starting up here, curve this up, bend that down. Just gonna round this out and then go out on top of the left brow. Let's add some thickness to this curl. Starting from the bottom, I'm gonna taper this up and then out. Round up the side, going up towards the top. Pull this around and then down towards the middle. Let's go over towards the left side, curve the hairline coming in, and then down in behind that curl. Now let's move out to the side and draw on the ears. We're going to start on the left side, curve the ear going up, round this out, and pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right, going up, around, and then in. And then we'll add those folds inside the ear. Start from the top, step down, curve this up and out. Go back to the inside, curve this out, and then hook that in. I'm going to start back on top of the left ear and brush the hair over towards the right. So start up here, bend this out, go up, 
and then in. Let's create an overlap. We step back, curve up, round up the head, and then pull that down on the inside. And we'll do that again. Stepping back, curve up towards the top, and bend that down. Step back up. I'm just going to curve this out, down, and then in on the top of that right corner. Let's close off the right side of the head. Starting from the side, curve this out, come down, and just pull that in on top of the right ear. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start all the way over on the left side underneath the head. Curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, curving in the opposite direction, coming down towards the same height. And from the hips, we're going to curve the belt coming down and in, leaving a gap in the center. Let's start with the left. Coming in. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the inside, we're going to draw a straight angled line coming in towards the center point. Now we want to trace that belt along the top. So we're going to step up on the left, go down and then in, go out on the right. Then again from the inside, come down and in towards the center. Let's add that detail in the center of the belt. Starting with a straight line going across the top, and go down towards the left and right side. Now we're going to draw that large symbol in the center of the body. Let's start over on the left side. Start with a straight line going across the top, angle down and out toward the left and right side. And we'll pull this down and in towards the middle. Let's draw the contours of the S along the inside. From the top corner, step down, angle down and out, come down and in with a short line along the bottom, go across along the top. And we'll connect the ends with the curve, going out and then down. Let's go all the way over towards the right side, angle down and out, and then come down and in. Let's go back up to the top, draw a short line coming down, come in with a straight line. Now I'm just going to curve this up and around the left side, come across towards the right, and then bend that down towards the bottom. Let's add a small upside down triangle along the top, starting with a straight line and come down and in towards the middle. Let's add another triangle along the bottom, stepping up, angle up and out towards the left and right, connect the top with a curve. Now we're going to go all the way over towards the left side, curve down and across, round up the end, go out and back up towards the left. Let's add the front edge of the cape, starting on the left, angle up and in just underneath the head on both sides, angle up and out. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. From that center point, let's step down, draw a short line going across from left to right. Then on the left side, curve the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right side, curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. We're going to start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up towards the outside of the foot. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. Starting from the outside, curve this up, and bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to leave a gap on the inside. And then we'll go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. Curve the leg going out, and then straight down on top of the foot. We're going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. By taking this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel, and do the same thing on the right side. And we'll go back up to the hip, step down, curve the shorts coming in, and then down towards that left point, go to the right, curve up and then out. Let's go down to the bottom of the leg, draw an angled line going up and in, draw a straight line going in, angle that back down and in towards the inside of the leg. 
Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start by lining this up and go up and out. Go straight across the top and angle this back down. And now we're going to go back up and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body. So starting right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, going out and then down. Let's go back to the left side. From the wrist, we're going to draw a half circle coming in and then out. Close off the end with a bracket. And with that thumb in place, we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, for the first finger coming down, and then up around that bracket. Step down, curve down, and then up. And then the third finger, curve out, round up the arm, pull that up and in underneath the head. Let's do the exact same thing on the right. Starting underneath the thumb, come down, and then up. I'm drawing the third finger, going out, rounding out the arm, and then pulling that in. Let's go back to the top of the thumb and draw the edge of the cuff. Starting up here, curve out, and then down toward that center finger. Curve this back up and out. I'm going to trace the cuff along the top, stepping up, coming in, and then going back towards the inside. And then from the outside of the cuff, we'll step up, curve in, and then down. Step up and draw that twice. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the body and wrap the cape around the arms. Starting from this point, curve this up and then out on both sides. And we'll bring the cape down in behind the arms and body. Then start underneath the index finger, come down and bend that out on both sides. And we'll connect the ends with the curve going in behind the legs. Start on the left, go down and in. Now move to the center, just complete that curve. And that's pretty much it. There's Superman from Fortnite Season 7. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.